Welcome to Henry's Tech. Henry's Tech will take you to the world of Western media and rebut some misunderstanding, bias, or false accusations. The world is closely watching the UK general election to be held on July 4th. The UK government has accused Hong Kong's electoral system undemocratic. Is the British way of democracy working well? Not really. The British political system is seriously flawed and it no longer stands as a model of democracy. First, under the UK parliamentary democracy, the leader of a party, which gains simple majority of seats in the House of Commons, becomes Prime Minister and holds power to lead the government. With less than half of the seats in the parliament, the opposition parties can rarely challenge the legislation and policies initiated by the ruling party. The timing of holding general elections is also determined by PMs, although elections are held no more than five years apart. Under such system, no matter how incapable is the PM, he or she can still hold powers and lead the government. Take Boris Johnson as an example. He held powers for more than three years since taking office in 2019. With severe public criticisms on his poor leadership and governance, he still defied calls for resigning and did not hold a general election. Johnson's governance was badly hit by high inflation, high energy costs, and sluggish economic development. He was only forced to step down after a spate of government officials scandal. Second, the UK's two-party system has left Britons to have votes, but not real choices. The Conservative and Labour parties have generally alternated in government for more than a century. Voters have been denied of real choices as the two parties battle out without challenge from third parties. Also, there are narrow policy differences between the Tories and the Labour. For example, both parties have been pro-America in support of the Ukrainian war against Russia. On Brexit, both parties have vowed to improve ties with the EU as Brexit is dragging on the UK economy. On the other hand, the UK has adopted first-past-the-post voting system and small parties do not gain fair representation in the parliament. In 2019 election, Conservative Party has gained a majority of 365 out of 656 by winning only 43% of total votes. And the Liberal Democrats have been largely underrepresented with only 1.7% of the seats while getting more than 11% of votes. Third, the UK government has violated the principle of judicial independence by interfering into Hong Kong's judiciary. About two years ago, the UK government pressured two British top judges to resign from Hong Kong's Court of Final Appeal as non-permanent judges. Recently, two more British judges have also resigned. One of them attributed his resignation to political reasons. Anyway, Hong Kong's judicial independence remains intact. Hong Kong will continue to treasure overseas non-permanent judges' contribution to underpin Hong Kong's legal system. The most valuable elements of democracy are diversity and voters' right to choose capable leaders. The political system in the UK has so many flaws and, as I said, its government is blatantly interfering Hong Kong's affairs. Will change after July 4th? Not likely, but let's wait and see.